During the hydro demolition process, concrete is reduced to sand, cement, aggregate, and small pieces of concrete. Typically, the concrete pieces, sand, and aggregate remain on the surface while the smaller cement particles are suspended in the water. This product of water and cement is referred to as slurry, cement slurry, contaminated water, hydro demolition water, or simply waste water. In addition to the suspended particles, the pH will be increased to 11 or 12 due to the alkaline nature of cement. As a result, the processing of the water falls into two procedures. First, removing the suspended particles and then reducing the pH level. Both can be done in order to meet the local pretreatment discharge requirements. Rampart has developed an integrated system that can be set up at the job site to effectively treat the hydro demolition wastewater. This system consists of one settling tank, one filter box, and a pH adjustment chamber. The cement particles are relatively heavy and will settle out of the water quickly if the water is stilled, calmed, or simply slowed down. This is the role of the settling tank, which has three baffles and one skimmer plate, giving the cement particles time to fall out of suspension. The first container is connected to the second with a short piece of PVC pipe. The second container has six filter screens covered with 200 to 300 micron filter fabric. Water is pumped from the work area into the first compartment of the settling tank at a rate not to exceed 40 gallons per minute. On this job, the structure's existing stormwater collection system was used to direct wastewater to the treatment system. After passing through the second container, the suspended solid count is typically less than 300 parts per million. While the water is relatively clear, having passed through the settling tank and filter box, the pH will still be about 11 or 12 as a result of the dissolved solids. If the pH needs to be reduced, it can be done using carbon dioxide or acids such as hydrochloric or sulfuric. The clarified water can then be discharged into the sanitary sewer line, DOT right-of-way, or other permitted location.